Good morning, Prairie Prairie Chase. Chase. My name is Jonathan Yang. And I'm Alex Q. Today is Thursday, October 13th. Hey, Alex, why does Waldo wear a striped shirt? I don't know. Why? Because he doesn't want to be spotted. (laughs) Ha! Good one, Jonathan. Now on to the lunch menu. Today's lunch is beef and cheese quesadilla. Sack lunch is chicken patty sandwich. Salad is taco salad. Sounds like a great lunch today. Who's celebrating birthdays? Today's birthdays are Reese Weber and Eleanor Purvis. Happy birthday. Go down to the office to claim your birthday goodies. Up next, Abby Ingersoll is standing by with our fall break forecast. I'm really looking forward to the long weekend. Abby, take take it away. away. My name is Abby Ingersoll with the fall with the fall break forecast. We'll be feeling cooler air tonight and Friday. Highs will be in the low to mid 60s, but don't worry. Warmer, te- warmer temperatures and the long fall break weekend will come at the same time. Temperatures will be in the 70s both Saturday and Sunday. Rain is possible on Sunday. Monday the temperatures are expected to be warmer in the lower 70s. Enjoy the extra long weekend, no matter rain or shine. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Abby. I agree. The weather is perfect because I get to sleep in the in for an extra few days. Up next, Janie is standing by with this week's sports. Janie, Janie take, take it, it away. away. Hi, I'm Janie Worley with this week in sports. Friday is senior night for the Carmel Greyhounds. Carmel hosts Lauren Central. Kickoff is at seven. On Saturday, Purdue is playing Iowa at home. Kickoff is at noon. Notre Dame hosts Stanford on Saturday. Kickoff is at 7.30. IU's homecoming is Saturday. IU is hosting Nebraska. Kickoff is at 3.30. Sunday Colts are traveling south to Houston to face the Texans. Kickoff is at 8.30. If you're around this fall break, come out and support all of our Indiana teams. Enjoy the long weekend and back to the studio. Thank you, Janie. Good luck to all of our Indiana teams. Up next is Ogis is with Mrs. Peasley in Pets on the Prairie. Ogis, take it away. I'm Ogis Curry. Mrs. Peasley is here with us for this week's Pets on the Prairie. Good morning, Mrs. Peasley, and thank you for being here today. Good morning. Good morning. What pets do you have? We have three pets at my house. I have two dogs, Millie and Marta, and we have a bearded dragon that belongs to my youngest son, Ian. Uh, How long have you had these pets? Our dog, Millie, is the oldest. She's eight. Marta is just three and a half months old, so she is full of energy and It's almost as much work as having a baby, I think, because we're constantly having to take her out to use the bathroom and making sure she doesn't have an accident in the house and all kinds of things. So she's still very much a baby. And then our bearded dragon is just a little over a year. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Is a bearded dragon easy to take care of? The bearded dragon is super easy to take care of. Um, The bearded dragon, uh, her name is Tiberius. We call her Tibby. And she lives in a big aquarium about this big. And it's filled with sand on the bottom. And she has a big log that's in the aquarium. And she climbs up in there and there are heat lamps up on top. And then she eats bugs for a meal every few days and then also she loves vegetables so we put in um, some greens and apples even I think sometimes my son puts in there but you don't even have to feed her every day it's just every few days and she likes to come out and run around and do some things on the floor every once in a while but she doesn't come out very often I don't like to touch her I just like to look at her through the glass thank you Mrs. Peasley we really enjoyed hearing about your pets thanks for having me that's this week's pet saw on the prairie. Now back to the studio. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? While the party was nice, the party was pumping. Hey, yeah. And everybody having a ball. Hey, hey. Until the fellas started in calling. And the girls respond to the call. That is a very fascinating pet, Mrs. Peasley. A bearded dragon would be an awesome pet. Speaking of fascinating pets, Aiden and Addison are up next with fascinating facts from Did You Know? 
take, take it, it away. away. Hi, I'm Addison Joyce. And I'm Aiden Rodriguez. And welcome to Did You Know? Addison, did you know that the world's smallest frog is about the size of a Cheerio? Wow, that's amazing. Did you know that a sweet potato is not closely related to the potato? I did, but did you know that Baskin Robbins once made a ketchup flavored ice cream? Ew, I didn't know that, but did you know that a typical banana travels about 4,000 miles before being eaten? Americans eat about 12 billion bananas each year. Now I didn't, but now I do. Now, now back, back to Nate and Alex in the studio! Whoa, a frog as small as a Cheerio. That's small. I'll never look at Cheerios the same. Have you heard? If we all make today awesome for everybody, somebody else, today would be awesome for everybody. I have heard of that. Wasn't that kid president? He's pretty smart. Yes, it was. Up next is Aldi with a leadership shout out. Take it Take away. Take it away. Hi, I'm Allie Persinger and I'm here with Bruno and Parsa. They're going to share their leadership story with us. Hi, Bruno and Parsa. Tell us what happened at after school care. Um, so, uh, a kid uh, walked up to us. So no, some kid walked up to us and uh, to Parsa, and he said uh, he he kind of um, he kind of insulted me, you could say. And so I went up to him and I told him. Uh, I told him I've been with this person for four years and and second grade is the time where I finally met him so I said stop stop teasing my friend I've been with him for four years this is the first year I actually met someone that I like and then I said and then he said sorry then that person said sorry, and I, um, and he walked away, and I just played with Parsa again. That's nice. Parsa, how did you feel after this experience? Like, you could say I felt, like, good. I felt like he's the, we're building, and he's the materials, and I'm the cement. If we work together, we can keep the building together. Nice. Bruno, which leadership habits did you use when you stood up for Parsa? I used stop, because I stopped him from being mean, because I said, I, I, I kind of changed the subject. I, I said, I've been with this person, but when, he, when that person was talking about something else, I, I, I changed the subject. Then I talked to him how he was being mean, and and then I walked away with him. And then he just went good. Yeah. That's nice. That's great. You are a great leader at Prairie Trace. Prairie Trace is very proud of you. Now back to Alex and Nate in the studio. Way to be an awesome friend to each other. I agree. True leadership definitely leading by an example. Speaking of leaders, up next is a special announcement from Student Council. Take, Take it, it away. away! It's October, it's October. You mean October, don't you? Well, on the calendar it says October, but I think we should change it to Soctober. Soctober? Why Soctober? Did you know that over 600,000 people are homeless and the number one item they need donated to help keep warm is socks? Whoa, that's over one million cold feet, and the cold weather is just around the corner. How can we help? We can start right here at Prairie Trace. We need your help. Student Council is calling out to all Prairie Trace leaders. Student Council is traveling, challenging Prairie Trace to collect at least 1,000 pairs of socks. Starting Tuesday, October 18th, bring in all your new pairs of socks, Donation bins will be located in all pods. Donations will be accepted until October 31st. We will then donate all the socks to the Horizon, Horizon House and Salvation Army. This is so exciting, but you haven't even heard the best part. If we reach our goal of 1,000 pairs of socks, we're going to celebrate with a sock hop. Socks, 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 socks,
When we reach our goal, 1,000 pairs of socks, on Monday, October 31st, everyone at Prairie Trace needs to wear their favorite socks and get ready to dance. It's Sock Up in Socktober. Start collecting those socks. socks. Happy Socktober! Socks. Prairie Trace, we're going to rock Socktober. Yes, all the leaders around are so inspiring. Over fall break, start collecting new socks for Socktober. This concludes this edition of WPTE. Enjoy your fall break. We will the end with the national anthem, leadership pledge, and, and a moment of silence. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning, tuning in, and, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the prairie. prairie. as a Prairie Trace Elementary Leader to have, have a positive attitude each day. I will make good choices even when no one is looking. I will demonstrate the seven habits to make myself and my school an amazing place.